Hi everybody, Trisha Keel, Tamara's Key, back with some really fun things to play with for benefactors and travel. Um, you'll notice my cute and darling reading glasses are on today because there's uh, um, I'm, there's reading involved here. That that I'm I'm not going to do this off the top of my head because I've got a list here that that is really great for you. So I'll, I'll need my glasses to be able to share this with you. And uh, so here we go. Uh, number one, benefactor and travel energy is white tiger energy. So if you have your own kitty cat, you have a little white tiger running around your house. Now you can honor your little white cat or your little pussy cat, whatever color it is, because he carries uh, white tiger energy. Uh, by giving him an, uh, maybe a new bowl, a, a white ceramic bowl, or even a stainless steel bowl for his food or his water. Or you can add an image of a tiger. If you don't have a pussy cat, um, you can bring in an image, a poster, a painting, a statue of a tiger. I have, oh, hold on, hold on, reaching visual effects. This is my teeny tiny little white tiger. Can you see him? He's actually carved out of jade. And he sits right beside me on my white tiger side, which is to the right. So for those of you who have trouble remembering which side is the right white tiger side, I'll tell you, as I tell all my students, white and right rhyme. Your white tiger side is always to your right from your point of view. So you, you can have a photo of a Siberian tiger. You can have a stuffed animal. Get a beanie baby if you can find one. Or one of these little guys. I found that at a... Uh, uh, Chinese little knickknack shop but uh, again I'm not encouraging you to go buy feng shui knickknacks but get things that have meaning for you uh, because I am uh, a cat in the Chinese astrological sign and my daughter is a, a fire tiger um, and I'm a cat person the, the white tiger had a lot of meaning for me so if it has meaning for you then it has meaning for you and if it doesn't then it doesn't um, next thing that I want you to remember is that um, while time is relative, time is now. If your VCR is still flashing 12, 12, 12, and you, uh, or, or it's got the wrong time on it, or any of the clocks in your house are stopped, then it is not time for you to be receiving anything or going anything, and the energy flow of time and the river of time has stopped. If all your clocks are set at different times and um, or, or they don't run, it's kind of like having a heart that doesn't pump, especially if it's in the middle of your house. Anywhere where you have a clock, if the clock is set wrong, set it right. If you're setting it wrong on purpose to make yourself get out of bed and do things um, earlier, uh, so that you will get there ahead of time when you normally run late or you'll actually get there on time For whatever reason if you're lying to yourself with your clocks quit go set the clocks right and 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 Tell honor yourself by telling yourself the truth So if your clocks broken either fix it or get rid of it bottom line do not have dead stuff in your environment and clocks that are not ticking are dead just like a television that doesn't work is dead or a car that doesn't work is dead if it's not supporting you get it out of your environment number three music is magic all music comes from white tiger energy you can set the stage for all kinds of moods with music now you can get um, a nice like jazz or you can get some raunchy rock and roll you can get some sweet blues you can do some fun country <laughs> excuse me you can do pretty much whatever kind of music you like for whatever kind of day or whatever kind of encounter you're gonna have but choose the music to set the stage for what you want to have happen in your life if, if you want to celebrate with your very special significant other, the music is going to be different than if you want to celebrate for, you know, getting a promotion for the, for everyone in the family. It's it's just different. So choose your music and play it well. Those those um, iTunes 
and iPods and MP3s and all the music that makes it so portable. Take it with you. Uh, enjoy, enjoy the music. At the very least, at the very least, sing, whistle, hum, make noise, <laughs> make a joyful noise. Um, finally, for today, open some lines of communication. It doesn't just have to be texting, for heaven's sakes. You can write an actual letter. People don't even know what it's like to get real letters in the mail. So any note or any card that you actually go buy and, and write on is an extension of your appreciation and, and gratitude for this person that you're sending a card to. Um, whether it is happy birthday or congratulations on your promotion or I was thinking of you or I miss you or whatever, it's a heartfelt message and it will promote their feelings for you and your feelings for them. We'll be back with one more tomorrow uh, for Benefactors and Travel. Meanwhile, I hope you will practice singing a song today. Crank up that stereo and rock out. <laughs>